Hello boys and girls, this is Professor Nelson from Electronics Speaking. On this occasion, we will learn how to turn on this 3 LED module, which works at 12 volts with a power of 1.5 watts. This module can be installed both indoors and outdoors as it comes completely sealed. We will make this LED module work using only a rechargeable lithium battery which can deliver a maximum voltage of 4.2 volts. So I invite you to stay until the end of the video so that you can learn how to do the installation. Not just one, but several LED modules with complete confidence. So without further ado, let's continue. Well, the first thing we are going to do is test if we can turn on the 12 volt module with the battery. The module will always have a positive and a negative, both on one end and the other. You can use this end or this end. Either one will work. We are going to connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. And it does not turn on. It means that we have to raise the battery voltage to the 12 volts indicated by the module. For this we will need an electronic board like this one here. This is a voltage booster. This voltage booster can deliver up to 28 volts at its output at 2 amps. And it can work with voltages from the two input volts. You can buy it as an MT3608 module. So what we are going to do is solder our battery to the voltage inputs of the module. Both to the positive input voltage and to the negative input voltage. But first a little theory. Keep in mind that the LED module has a power of 1.5 watts. It works with a voltage of 12 volts. And how much is the current? Well, the power is equal to the voltage times the current. Therefore, the current is going to be equal to power over voltage. So it's going to be equal to 1.5 over 12 volts. Which is going to give us 0 0.125 amps. Or 125 milliamps. This would be the current that the LED module is going to consume. Our voltage booster module can deliver up to 2 amps. And 0 0.125 is quite low. Therefore, we can connect more than 10 of these modules in series. We can easily connect them with the help of this module here. So enough of theory, time for practice. Well first we are going to solder what would be the voltage input. We have positive voltage input and negative voltage input. We solder the cables of our battery. Then we are going to solder what would be the LED module. But first we are going to have to calibrate our voltage booster module until we have the 12 volts output. Ready? Don't forget. Input voltage. The battery voltage. The negative. And the positive. We place our battery. And we are going to test here and see how many volts the module gives us. Well guys, we already have our module connected to the multimeter. 
we have 10 volts as voltage output. Now what we have to do is turn the screw until we get the 12 volts we need. Well, we have 12 volts. With those 12 volts, we are going to test our LED module and check the calculated current. To do this, we need to put our multimeter in direct current. We disconnect the alligators and we make the change. range of 200 milliamps or greater than calculated. We will connect the negative directly. We will connect the positive with the tips of the multimeter. We connect the positive to the positive of the multimeter. And the negative of the multimeter we connect to the positive of the module. And we verify the current which is 108 milliamps. The value is very similar to the calculated one. Well. With this, the power of the module is confirmed. Now let's solder the cables of our module directly to the voltage booster. Well, now to solder our module, do not forget to first remove the battery so as not to have problems. Now we are going to turn it on. If you want you can also put a switch on it. Put a switch like this to turn it on and off if you want to do so. Well, now before finishing, do not forget that you can connect up to 10 and even a little more modules. But I recommend that you only put 10 if you use this module here. Since this one here allows you to connect 10 of these LED modules here. The connection is simple. The positive is connected to the positive of the other module and the negative to the negative of the other and so on, placing up to 10. It would be like a series connection. Well, this is how the video would end. Guys, don't forget that if you like the video, a like helps the channel a lot. See you in the next video. Bye bye.